Hola, hola, welcome to Learn Spanish World with Mr. Briggs. My name is Mr. Briggs, I'm a qualified Spanish teacher, and today we'll be talking about adjectives in Spanish. So, if you're a teacher and you are looking for a lesson plan, here is the learning objectives. Students will learn new words in Spanish. Students will familiarize themselves with Spanish adjectives. So, make sure you go through this. That's right, today we're going to learn a few adjectives in the Spanish language. The success criteria for today's lesson is as it follows. Students will be able to put together Spanish sentences using the newly acquired Spanish adjectives. So, before we proceed any further, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I upload lessons every week. Muy bien. Los adjetivos. That means the adjectives in Spanish. Los, the, adjetivos. The J sounds like a H. Adjetivos. Los adjetivos. Adjectives. Adjectives describe, identify, or define nouns and pronouns. Los adjetivos identifican o definen sustantivos y pronombres. Sustantivos means nouns in Spanish. And pronombres means pronouns. Let's see an example in order to understand this. We've got the word bicicleta, which is a noun, a sustantivo. La bicicleta es roja means the bicycle is red. Roja is a characteristic, therefore it is an adjetivo. Excelente. Keep in mind that adjetivos, adjectives, are words that modify, accompany, and give additional information about the nouns. For example, persona alta, tall person, persona baja, short person, vehículo rojo, red vehicle, sombrero amarillo, yellow hat. So, the adjetivo alta is telling us, giving additional information about the height of this person. Vehículo rojo, the same thing. We are getting additional information about the vehicle being red. Ejemplo número uno. Let's take, for example, this bicicleta. Bicicleta means bicycle. Adjectives give us additional information about nouns. So, for example, its color, its weight, and its size. So, keeping this in mind, we can see that grande, big, pesada, heavy, and roja, red, are adjectives, adjetivos. La bicicleta es grande. The bicycle is big. La bicicleta es pesada. The bicycle is heavy. La bicicleta es roja. The bicycle is red. So, these adjetivos are giving us additional information about the noun bicicleta. Now, don't worry about it if you still don't understand. This is easier than what you think. Don't panic. Let me introduce you to Roberto. Roberto is Roberto es. What can we say about Roberto? Well, we can say that Roberto es Uruguayo. He's Uruguayan. Roberto es atractivo, meaning Roberto is attractive. Roberto es amistoso. Robert is friendly. Roberto es alto. Roberto is tall. Roberto es delgado. Roberto is slim. And Roberto es inteligente. Roberto is intelligent. Now, pay attention because I'm going to introduce you to some of the most common adjectives in Spanish. It's very important for you to remember and familiarize these adjectives because you will hear them over and over again in Spanish. They're very easy. They're not hard to remember. It all comes down to practice repetition. Okay, so here we go. Número uno. Bonito o bonita, which means beautiful. For example, este escritorio es bonito. This desk is beautiful. 
Escritorio is a masculine noun, so we say, este escritorio es bonito. Now, don't forget what we covered in previous lessons. Nouns in Spanish can be masculine or feminine, like the word chica. So you would say, la chica es bonita, the girl is beautiful. And we got some neutral words like flor. La flor es bonita. This flower is beautiful. Esta flor es bonita. Ejemplo número dos. Feo o fea means ugly. Este vehículo es feo. This vehicle is ugly. Ooh, look at it. It, it smashed. It had an accident. Es feo. Don't call anyone feo. It's not nice. Feo, it's a masculine. Fea, for feminine. For example, the noun casa is a feminine noun. So you would say, this house is ugly. Esta casa es fea. Ooh, it looks scary too. Esta casa es fea. Siguiente ejemplo, next example. Número tres, three. Delicioso o deliciosa. Delicious. Este plato está delicioso. This plate is delicious. Ooh, but the fish is jumping. Este plato está delicioso. I'm not too sure about that, especially when I see the fish jumping on the plate. Número cuatro, feliz, happy. Él está feliz. He is happy. Él está feliz. He is happy. Now, once again, we see an example of an exception to every rule. When we talk about a female, we also say feliz. It doesn't change. Ella está feliz. She is happy. So, there's always an exception to every rule. Like bonito, bonita, or feliz. That doesn't change for any gender. You still say feliz. Palabra número tres, once again. Delicioso. You can also say, la comida está deliciosa. The food is delicious. Comida is a feminine noun. Comida está deliciosa. La comida está deliciosa. Ejemplo 5. Example 5. Triste means sad. Él está triste. He is sad. Él está triste because his internet connection is down and he cannot play his favorite game. Poor thing. Él está triste. Another example. Ella está triste. She is sad because she dropped her iPhone and the screen is smashed. Ella está triste. I'm just joking, guys. Don't take me seriously. It's just an example. Ella está triste. Siguiente. We got the word small, pequeño o pequeña in Spanish. El bebé es pequeño. The baby is small. Or you could say, la chica es pequeña, the girl is small. So once again, we see this adjetivo. Número siete, grande, big, like this panda. El panda es grande. The panda is big. El panda es grande. That means the panda is big. Fantástico, let's continue. Número 8. Number 8. Bueno means good. El oficial de policía es bueno. The police officer is good. El oficial de policía es bueno. He's got a big smile. He's a good guy. Bueno. Say it. Bueno. Good. Look at this guy. Número 9. 9. He's malo. Bad. El criminal es malo. The criminal is bad. Ooh, look at him. He's got a bit of a temper. Malo. Bad. El criminal es malo. Número 10. Number 10. I love this word. Fácil. Easy. El español es fácil. Spanish is easy. It is, guys. Incredible as it may seem. It's one of the easiest languages for English speakers to learn. El español es fácil. Número 11, number 11. Divertido, fun. Este juego es divertido. This game is fun. I wonder what game is 
Mr. Panda playing? Do you think he's playing your favorite game? Este juego, this game, es divertido. It's fun. Número 12. Número 12. Antipático o antipática. Mean. Él es antipático. He's mean. Ella es antipática. She's mean. <gasps> These two are meanies. Ooh, they don't look like nice people. Número 13. 13. Fuerte. Strong. Él es fuerte. He is strong. Wow, look at those muscles. He looks like, he looks like Schwarzenegger. Él es fuerte. He is strong. Muy bien, amigos. So, let's see. You are very intelligent and I'm sure you'll be able to do this. Create 13 sentences in Spanish using the following adjetivos. So I'll give you a few minutes to go through these adjetivos and see if you can come up with some sentences. The time starts now. Now remember to pause the video. Siguiente, next one. Look up the following adjetivos and translate them into English. So look up the masculine adjetivos, translate them and Give me the feminine versions of the adjetivos. Fantástico. You can do it. You are very smart. Excelente, amigos. Please subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more lessons like this one. If you guys need assistance, please leave it in your comments and I will answer your questions or suggestions. And I also invite you and I also extend you a warm invitation to subscribe to my premium version of this channel. In that way, you will be able to download these lessons directly. Every time I upload a lesson, you will be able to download the lesson as a PDF and printable. Fantástico, amigos. Take care, look after yourself, and I'll see you soon. Nos vemos. Adios.